We cannot afford to overlook the crucial interdependence that exists between engineering and government and the society at large. Both politics and engineering are expected to operate in service of mankind. On the common ground, politicians and engineers should work together in a wholehearted of cooperation. And it is in the legal and moral obligation of it is the legal and moral obligation of engineers to ensure that the safety and welfare of the public are maintained. In order to better fulfill this task, professional engineers must undertake more substantial and visible roles in their local government uh, where they may reside. And in a democratic dispensation, which include free society, politics, and government, are inseparable. Politics shapes the character of government, and the government affects all of us at a local, provincial, and national level. The engineering profession is directly affected by the course which government pursues regarding the preservation of the free enterprise system and particularly sensitive to actions of government which affect the professional climate in this country. The importance of the relationship between the engineer and politics is exemplified by the, by the remedy being sought for creating conducive environment for our people. The professional engineer must bring to the legislative process the practical, economic, legal, and ethical viewpoint that the engineer is known to, to possess. And professionals and business people who, are, who neglect po uh, politics cannot lament unsound legislations later. The engineer and those have been, who should have an interest must participate in politics in order to bring about the necessary influence to advance the cause of this profession, which is serving our people. So generally speaking, most engineers are not interested, or the perception is that they're not interested in even discussing politics, much less becoming involved with them as well. To most engineers, the political arena appears to be a bureaucratic, uh, um, stumbling block or something they're not interested in, which is held by a maze of red tape. And this contrasts directly with the step-by-step -step logic that impels an engineer through his daily work. The political process has many twists, turns, and loopholes that seem too convoluted to an engineer who cannot tolerate rash or illogical thought. And political decisions are often viewed as irrational or ambiguous and are influenced by a variety of variables. And government pro uh, progress is difficult to observe and measure, unlike an engineer's project which has a defined deadline and prescribed results that can be calculated frequently. And since negative stereotypes around both the political and engineering pro uh, profession, preconceived notions often hinder the meeting of the minds. And civil engineers are commonly stereotyped as having poor communication and people skills, and mostly have demonstrated a wealth of technical knowledge but often have trouble communicating effectively with a business-minded politician or, or due in part of the large difference in the specialized jargon that they use. The thought of dealing with elected officials that seem larger than life are often perceived as an inaccessible frequently vetted engineers from approaching politicians and the political process. But at this point, I think I want to zoom into what is uh, quite uh, a, a, an interesting topic that's happening within our public discourse in so far, and more many of us appreciate and accept the fact that for us to grow our national economy and get our even our local economy going, we need infrastructure and a conducive environment to be able to, to, to facilitate uh, economic growth. And when you then zoom into what conducive environment is, it leads you to accessibility and reliability of infrastructure. And this infrastructure is built largely at a local and provincial level. And in this building, the process of building this infrastructure, you have political principles in both spheres of government who interface with some level of engineers. There may be internal engineers, and at most times it's also engineers appointed uh, through a panel by the municipality, but external of the municipality. Now, they play an interesting role. So for every piece of uh, uh, capital infrastructure put, Chances are there's an engineer in the process uh, of that some way and a successful delivery of that. But in recent times, I think what has been happening, we've not really paid a, a, a closer level of attention, which is actually now uh, putting the in, the, in my view, putting the entire infrastructure, I mean, putting the entire sector into disrepute. And most when you consider what the AG has been struggling with, insofar as the irregular, fruitless, and wasteful expenditure and mismanagement of billions of rents by local government in particular. And when you zoom into where the money has been spent, you'll find that close to, in fact, about 60% has actually gone into infrastructure projects. With those infrastructure projects, 
you find the interface of politicians and, and, and engineers. And at times, you find the interface leading to a positive output, output, a road built on time, on spec, within budget. And at times, you find irregular appointments, money spent, uh, uh, purchase orders signed off, but no delivery on the ground. And which is the part that I would want us to hear and persuade you to focus on because what is happening in that space isn't finding enough expression, which is undermining the process. And therefore, you find the direct interaction between these two politicians and engineers, which ha could have, uh, in fact, extreme effects, a very positive effect and a very negative effect. There's no middle ground in this case. And in our instances, we found in matters where there's been some challenges in so far service delivery or allegations around corruption. When you zoom into, you find an, an, an engineer who becomes an enabler and assists the process to be corrupt by itself with many others who are playing a role in that space.